it's still morning for us. Yeah, it's morning for us. So aloha. Good morning. Good morning. It's like just eight thirty four a.m. here in Kauai. <laughs> And here we are, politically incorrect relationship astrology that evolves souls. And I texted, <laughs> I have new meanings for that, for the for the new marginalized community that I'm I'm the new marginalized community <laughs> that I I'm I'm uh, representing. <laughs> oh, Which is people in revolution against tyrannical eugenicist sociopaths. Yes. <laughs> eugenicist sociopaths. <laughs> See, even the chicken agrees. <laughs> I don't know, you're still, so you're still, I'm just going to leave you on as a panelist, this extra one. I don't know why it's still there. So I'm just going to let it be. Well, that's funny because normally I'd be able to see that, but I can't see it. Yeah. So I, I don't want it, to, it's working. So we're just going to leave it. Okay. All right. So we have. So we have a bunch of astrology going on. All right. I mean, obviously we, have, it's sometimes it's, it's a little more quiet than other times. So tomorrow is actually the new moon. It's not the new moon yet, but we're coming mm -hmm. on today because we can't come on tomorrow and that new moon will be in leo yeah we're getting you prepped but prepped and ready i think what's more um impending is that we have mercury retrograde mm -hmm. and it is supposed to be messy although I haven't really unpacked what that means yet. Well, I mean, <laughs> well, okay. Let's just say this: it's Mercury is retrograding in a square to Uranus, mm -hmm. and while that could be difficult for some people it's not mm -hmm. difficult for all people um in a natal chart mm -hmm. that's actually indicative of intelligence right right um mercury uranus aspects are the signatures of intelligence it's not the sign it's not the house i mean maybe sometimes it's the house but it is different aspects and so that aspect is really one of those that will be a sharp quick mind um So with Mercury, with any retrograde, we have to take a slower look at things and look mm -hmm. deeper, right? Mm -hmm. Like more an internal assessment of things. Right. And I would say, because they're going to move out of square, Mercury is going to go backwards and Uranus is going to keep going forwards. And so that will pass and then it will come back into square when mercury stations direct and moves forward again um but there's probably some insights happening for Mer for right. mercury ruled people um even uranus ruled people so they're gonna you're gonna because especially because it's a new moon so it might be something that they you know, it's like, what do you want to create? What's new? What's new that you want to, you know, anchor into your reality, new beginnings, all that stuff. So maybe some doors are opening or some mindset stuff is opening. Hey, what, what problem, what, what's on the, mm -hmm. what's going on that you need a solution for, right? right? What's like the puzzle? Like maybe you unlock the puzzle. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that sounds good. Um, there's also the Venus square happening mm -hmm. with Uranus, which is more about, I don't know, more about money. I guess it could be about relationships, but it's about, usually Uranus and Venus are about money mm -hmm. and um, 
a windfall of some kind. Um, some type of sudden breakthrough. I'm still waiting for that. I don't have one of those yet, but I would certainly like one of those today. <laughs> You'll take it. But yeah. <laughs> um. Mm -hmm. I guess that Mercury is also making a square to Mars for the time being for a minute and oh okay I'm trying to get all of these details nailed down all this logistics worked out before right. Mercury actually turns retrograde on the 4th is that the 4th? yeah the 4th but we're okay. in the kind of like we're oh wait no we've been in the shadow period yeah but i'm just, i'm just you know yeah the shadow period i get that but it's not actually like the exact event so right. i'm still working out all these things that i because i'm going to be moving during right. mercury retrograde right like so at least have everything investigated so i think that that Mars square to Mercury is um, assisting me in finalizing actions, is actually taking action in a time where it can be really slow for people. Like people are already feeling like that slowdown and the inability to like mm -hmm. go and like make forward movement, right? Mm -hmm. um, but which, which is interesting for a new moon too. Like to have it, well, right. Like, it, 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 right. It, it's working against that energy mm -hmm. in general. Um, so that's like, I think maybe it wouldn't be seen as good luck, but I'm like, okay, here's your little last 24, 48 hour window to uh, clear something up or make something make an agreement right sign the contract now because don't sign it in three days that's like the deal mm -hmm. i pick some cards yeah yeah well and like i really like to stick with the visual and what the visual does for people not what the person who designed these says what the cards are, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? What's interesting is that um, the first one I picked, um, it's got this image like of all these different arrows in different directions, but it's like from the center moving out, but it's breaking apart. The chains are breaking apart, mm -hmm. you know? And then even underneath it is another is another wheel. Like, so it's an interesting thing that underneath it is right. another, is another, you know, it's like a more subtle wheel and it's very, um, almost like looks like mercury. Like it's like the metal, you know, it's like kind of like the metal, uh, color of mercury in a way, this, the, this card. So I think it's, it's interesting just to like take in the color and the representation. Uh, but it does still feel like these chains, like it's like, okay, they're breaking apart, but there's still more work. Like, it's kind of like there's some more work happening that has to happen for this to finish. Almost like this is a project that was started a while ago that's coming back around, right? And something has to happen. But then it's interesting because it, because all the colors of these cards are similar. Because then you have this one. This is the next card. I'd like to see like, okay, now that mercury color <clears throat> is all these squares, right? So it's interesting, mm -hmm. these squares with different colors and different areas to explore um, and seeing what's inside the mercury, what's inside that metal, what's inside, what's inside your mind, what's inside the windows of your mind, the perception. What's happening? Can you change? Can you look through a different window? And what's the other, the last one, which is just wild because it looks like a brain. 
to me that's like Whoa. a brain it's like a unified you know both hemispheres working in order um neurological okay, system the top, is, the top is like the frontal lobe yeah yeah well yeah that or like the conscious and the subconscious like everything seems to be you know so all this stuff that's happening like if you can like you look at these cards everyone should look at these cards and get what they get from them i'm just this is the way they're hitting me but they may hit you a different way they may something might come you know mm -hmm. for you um that that i'm not stating um but it does like this image feels very to me feels very peaceful and it's it, like every image has green not all these cards have green this whole deck of cards not every card has green in it um not every card like so this card um it doesn't it, it goes to all green right after having you know after you go through this and then this it becomes all this so put it this way so this is where the start, the middle, and the end. It's kind of like this is what this period. So the new moon starting all this, but with the Mercury and retrograde, it feels like this is this what this period is offering. Oh, you know what? Green is the color of the heart chakra, and yeah. Leo rules the heart. Yeah, yeah. So it's like all that that Leo energy, Mercury energy, like um, even and. Yeah, it's very interesting. So what does Mercury and Leo do together? Well, how do Mercury and the heart work together? You know, how can you have more? Most people's Mercury and hearts don't work together. Well, part of it is like, what about, it's like, if Mercury is a messenger, mm -hmm. can you be more attuned to what your heart is messaging, the heart's energy? Can you, can you like slow down? and just receive and listen yeah receive from the heart can you allow it to be the loudest tone for a few minutes so you can just receive it and take it in without having to have words so i think a lot of people get trapped and trying to decipher having like a message that's word-based where if you just receive the energy if you just sit and allow yourself to feel it like sit and listen to the heart slow down listen to the heart feel the heart give yourself time to do that do this every day as a practice um the action or what you need to do will be clear as you move about your day you know so people think they just need they need to sit down and to hear like the voice of their soul their voice of their heart they're looking for words no there's no the inner voice is not necessarily speaking to you in words it speaks through symbolism it it speaks through and that also can mean a feeling so allowing your body to go into the physiological state that it needs to be in so all the biochemical processes start matching um your effort of sitting and listening to your heart because your body your biology will respond to doing that and that changes that your tone your vibration your frequency all of it it's the simplest thing and people are over complicating everything you just saw the post i put up this morning right yeah i think i commented that was an eye roll uh emoji so i just wrote i roll it's, al it's always funny because i saw it right before just getting ready and i thought and if you go look at the post you know someone's asking they need a guest on a podcast right so i, I want to keep the person's information private because i don't want people stalking her but her uh, uh, of course her husband is the only one who has the avatar for the god template on this in this whole realm and i'm going this is an example of what's going on people are actually flocking to that they right. believe that they take that in and they because i want to be that well we, well we already are we already have we all, we all have this template <laughs> hello right. so if you think you're, you're the only if you think you're the one you're not the one i think that like if you think about it, matrix with neo 
He was like, I'm not the one. Well, of course he wasn't the one, right? He's not, he knows he's not the one. He's just showing what people can do. Meaning like, he's the one that can show others that they can do that too. Which is why it's like, I'll never call myself a shaman. Other people call me a shaman. Other people call me that. I don't ask them to, I don't tell them to. I won't call myself that. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because the tribe tells, the, the, the tribe finds the shaman. The shaman doesn't declare themselves a shaman in the tribe. That's how that mechanism works. So, and I don't vilify anyone for using that as their messaging, <laughs> like as like who they are, like, or what they do. Because if they've taken, like they've learned shamanic tools, that's great. Right. That's great. Like, you know, uh, that, that there's, there's, that's fine. But yeah, it's like, so what, so it's like this whole thing is interesting to think about <clears throat> as we're going into this space. Leo's ruled by the sun and it's all heart. Maybe get out in the sun a little bit more to activate that Leo energy a little bit more consciously. <clears throat> Maybe you watch the sunrise or sunset while you're tuned into your heart. Leo's also about generosity. Mm -hmm. So maybe turn the generosity inwards mm -hmm. as opposed to outwards. Mm -hmm. Playfulness, creativity. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. hair maybe get a new i, I will let's it'll be interesting to see if people get new hairdos at this time if people decide to cut their hair or like you know like right like during <laughs> no you don't want bangs don't cut bangs oh i don't want bangs i'm not telling you i'm just i know yeah public service announcement you might think that you want them but no you don't really want them <laughs> The other thing about Leo is pride. They're very proud. Yeah. So and it's a, be, yeah. That can be to your detriment. Yeah. I always find that interesting, an interesting word because I do know so Leos that like use that word a lot and they've used it with me. And I'm like, well, I don't need anyone to be proud of me because I just don't. I feel like there's something about the word proud where it's like, well, proud parent, it's in a way but they're, they're telling like, you they're proud of you yeah they, they, sometimes people will say that to me so proud of you i'm like why <laughs> so i oh, see i don't see leo pride like being like that leo pride is in themselves they're very easily offended right they're yes. not balanced okay leo rising is way worse than actual leos or leo yeah. moon leo well, rising yeah. is a little pompous and look at me and I have to look good and everything has to look good and yeah it's um yeah the the, the uh I find it interesting because but I mean like even that but that's a word that that I've noticed that certain Leos use a lot and so I think they they tell it to me because they're they're looking for that for themselves they're trying to oh, they're looking for the reciprocation yeah 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 Mm -hmm. so they're seeking they're seeking validation right right through through proudness and pride and all that being generous and, and giving it to other people right exactly need it yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's interesting it is well so technically it, go ahead no you go ahead go ahead oh I was just going to say, technically today, the moon is still in Cancer. It's in opposition to uh, Pluto. So mm -hmm. that's difficult emotion-wise. Like, mm -hmm. And it's not opposite from Capricorn. It's opposite from Aquarius. So that's a very dry place. Cancer and Aquarius don't really vibe at all. Mm -hmm. Um. But it'll move quickly. It'll move out. And 
at the same time, the moon is in trining Saturn is trining Neptune. So that's very happy for the moon with Neptune. And that's a good support, you know, structure from Saturn. Saturn's not strangling it or stepping on it um, as it moves into its new oh. phase conjunct the sun. I'm sorry, I'm looking all, all over the place because I, I pulled out a pendulum. I'm like, where did I put it? <laughs> I put it back and it's back. <laughs> Go ahead. No, that's all. Um, so it seems like today and tomorrow is actually like this last hurrah of effective energy moving around before... Mm -hmm the mercury slow down so i know it's repetitive but i guess we should just mention that there's things that you don't do during mercury retrograde is that you don't sign contracts you don't generally travel to places you haven't been before you don't buy new things or you don't sell like you don't sell you can sell used cars and you buy used cars because that's kind of a mm -hmm. mercury retrograde thing if you're traveling to a place that you've already been then you don't have to worry about that. So I'm moving to the place where I was actually born, right? So in a way, I'm gonna like lean on that and let mm -hmm. that work. Um, and I'm selling used vehicles. So that's why ironing out the shipping and the tickets and the cats and everything up until tomorrow was so important to me because you have to really triple check your details during a retrograde period for mercury like there's technolo technology messes up communication gets totally confused and confounded um you really need to double triple quadruple check your details for anything that you have to do because every business doesn't come to a halt but you really need to slow down and pay attention and don't rely on somebody else and just think that they're going to have it taken care of you have to double check everybody everybody right. i think um, it's it's a good practice anyway <laughs> i think it's just it is, a, but there's periods of time where things yeah. really flow better and there's yeah. not like obstacle after obstacle mm -hmm. so this is a period of time where there are, are obstacles and communications break down and people will lose their phone and like you know zoom won't work and mm -hmm. um yeah just that kind of stuff right um and so if you rely heavily on that, then just know that for the next three weeks, you're going to have to like baby it. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise it's going to make a mess and it's going to take a lot to clean it up usually. Um, but like I said, there's a meditation to it at the same time. There's like a deeper part to it. That's not necessary. It's not always bad. It just means you need to pay more attention. It's not bad. Everyone's like makes it all scary and, it's not it's just um it happens all the time really three or well, four so, times a year we deal with it all right well it's interesting as i was thinking about you know in business astrology mercury is the spokesperson to the ceo the sun the sun is the ceo and mercury is the spokesperson like for the ceo okay so you know it's like when mercury's in retrograde <clears throat> I think they have to become like, I can, you know, it's kind of like to, they have to become the consigliere in a way, or they have to become like a more like a, um, like to the sun, meaning that the sun just wants to shine and like where it wants to go, right? That I want to do this, I want to do that, but there has to be a little bit more uh, slow down and like, like waiting for right timing for certain things if I just apply mm -hmm. that a little bit um, and also that while things are reorganizing, sometimes it's not beneficial to reveal all the details. Like, especially Usually. if you don't, but yeah, especially if you don't know, it's kind of like um, if the sun is in a transition in its identity, then you don't want every detail of the transformation to be revealed to you know that till the sun knows what who it is on the other side mm -hmm. it's almost impossible to reveal all those details really if you're 
actual well, it is. Well, 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 what I'm saying is like kind of like it's kind of like this, like uh, this is the identity now and then okay the like in the middle of the retrograde it's like saying well this is the identity but no this is the transition identity until we get to the other identity so just let it be let yourself that's what i'm talking about um okay like not over identifying with things during a retrograde mm. that makes sense mm-hmm. that was my long way of getting there <laughs> Well, no, I wasn't getting into this. That don't overly identify with something until you like until yeah. you've, you've moved through the thing. Right, until you move through it. That's it. Right. I pulled out this pendulum, which is based on, it's pretty big. It's big. Look, I just want to show in relation to my hand, right? Yeah. Um, the, or my head. <laughs> but this is pendulum is from Pendulum Atrum Appometrics. It's, um, it's it's based on the Moore architecture, M M O O R, and their mm-hmm. architecture was meant to um, gather the ether in their buildings. So Moore mm-hmm. architecture is kind of like those cathodes, like when you look at a Catholic church and like you know, or a cathode yes. that, that that the spires were gathering ether. But the other thing about it is it's known to emit basically blue ray blue blue frequency so you know i'm not gonna sit here and heal anyone but the opportunity is for you to take in whatever the pendulum offers as it swings so i'm just letting it swing until it's done swinging (laughs) so whatever it does for you it does for you or for me however it if you you know it organizes the energy just not even asking it to do anything other than what it does. And then it's done. (laughs) So meaning like, I don't work with pendulums where I'm like, oh yeah, can you do this? No, it's just, this has a design. It has a frequency. It knows what it's doing. It's designed to do something. That's what it does. That's what it does. I don't need to ask it to do anything. (laughs) That's it. Yeah. A nice pendulum. The wood is... Thank uh, you, huh? Thank, you, a, thank you, pendulum. Yeah, the, the wood, it's ash and it's red Maranti. So... And the, the, this is all about like, it's related to the tree of life, the ash tree. And then Maranti was used to uh, get rid of evil spirits. Hmm. So on that level, like the material that it's made from has its, has these properties as well. And again, I don't have to ask it to do anything. It just does what it does. So just figured I'd pull out something that I haven't so pulled out before. For today. Yeah, there's there's your dose of woo. <laughs> Extra woo woo. Well, if you like, you know, one of the things like if it feels good, like to just let a pendulum swing, like just to kind of have it to use different pendulums, and people don't realize that, especially if you're not really, um, if you're really uh mental, like mentally, like so Mercury, like if you're if you're much more mentally organized instead of like me, I'm much more physically, physically empathic. Um, then it uh, you might not feel anything, but I feel a lot. So like I feel people who have that are physical empaths do well with pendulum work. Mm. Or like do well with you know with you know whatever they can you know whatever they can use because they're really sensitive to this shift the mistake that people make in communication right we're talking about mercury is that they communicate what it means for them and think it's what it means for everybody instead of leaving the space for people to tune in to what it is opening for them Mm -hmm. But I'll see that lady. You know, I guess it's worth mentioning also 
I mean, so we talked about the Uranus Mars Algol conjunction. Mm -hmm. Was it last time, two weeks mm -hmm. ago? Yeah. And um, Uranus is still on Algol, right? The Medusa star. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to call it the demon star because I just don't yeah, well. even agree with any of that. Mm -hmm. um, so Mars has moved on, but Uranus hasn't. And Uranus is slowing down the retrograde also. Okay. And this was <laughs> painfully brought to my attention because mm -hmm. it's conjuncting my son. And I was really looking forward to do it closing the gap making the exact conjunction and then moving on right but it's not it's going to mm -hmm. retrograde before it does that it's going to slow down within minutes of my son turn around and go backwards so for the collective it's hovering over this algal point which is 26 degrees of mm -hmm. taurus mm -hmm. so depending on your chart and what you have in aspect to it meaning other signs especially fixed signs at 26 degrees creating a square or an opposition mm -hmm. to that point and to uranus right now is going to be you know pertinent to maybe anything that's dragging out for you i mean like i said i was really looking forward to that just getting on with it okay we have this leaf blower back here. Perfect timing for them. Um, so yeah, that's still going on. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be... That's triggering a rebirth transformation for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, um, doesn't have to be conjunct your son. You could... You could be having a Uranus re uh, opposition right now, right? If you are 44 or 43 right now ish in that area, you're having a Uranus opposition. That's technically the peak of the midlife crisis. Hmm. If you're having a midlife a Uranus opposition on top of the Al Gold star, that's especially, you know. <laughs> mm hmm purging it's going to make you really have to dig deep and come up with, with your next self right i guess a whole new self yeah and wow. traditionally a uranus opposition is is only difficult because you haven't really assessed yourself you don't know yourself you don't look deeply at the things that make you uncomfortable about yourself and those mm -hmm. things become glaringly apparent at a time like Oh, you're on this opposition. Um, mm -hmm. There's other supporting aspects that happen in the midlife crisis. And then if you really get that all fleshed out mm -hmm. by the time you get to your Chiron return, you know, you could really have this deep healing and repair mm -hmm. kind of experience, you know, where the rest of you, the rest of your life, the second half of your life, you know, is incredibly rewarding. But you, you really have to, you know, you have to be looking at yourself all the time, which most people don't do, because we have a society and a culture that's designed to keep you distracted and immersed in endless pleasure of things that keep you distracted from the pain of really looking at yourself, because right. that's not a thing right. to do, right? So... Um, did you see that thing I tagged you in last night? I didn't see it yet. I had a look. Okay. <laughs> and I don't know. Okay. It's, it seems like it's a science fiction thing, but it's like this. Maybe I did it's probably, see it. Let me look. Let me look. From like the sixties, right? It's like from the sixties or whatever, but it's like an alien and it may be like laying on his deathbed and it's communicating to a human and it's telling human about this um, artificial intelligence that becomes so advanced beyond the intelligence of humans 
that it keeps humans trapped in the AI or the metaverse, right? They didn't call it that, but that's what it is. Keeping people... Um, I don't see it. Satiated mm -hmm. in pleasure. Right. So that humans no longer make any effort and then they go extinct, right? Um, oh, yeah. Well, that's... I mean, because this is so interesting because this is... I pulled this card while you're talking, which is the seven of chalices, which you see like the the snake it's like it says like yeah. don't don't get deceived don't get don't like don't over and like dulge like it's one of the it's a very interesting it's like basically kind of echoing at least based on this deck what you're saying right. um but it might wake up something for other people just by looking at the image so you know the most responsible pioneering warrior thing that anybody can do Mm -hmm. is to look deeply at the ugliest parts of themselves that they don't like looking at and you keep looking at them until they're no longer uncomfortable oh yeah so they're no longer cringe yeah like if if you just do that you mm -hmm. change the world but right. if you don't do that nothing will change the world that's the only way and i hate to be like that's the only way but it is the only, the only way. way well that's why like when i hear people screaming unity consciousness i mean we have to be able to be in unity. I'm like, you, unity consciousness is a, is an inside job. Right. You cannot go into outer unity consciousness and function to the degree that we, that we have the potential to in order to alchemize this reality until you do it in here. Right. You're only in unity. If you, you can only that. be there. Right. If you own, if you can only be there to do that. Right. It's automatic. You don't have to like try. There's no effort. It just happens. But right. you're not in unity unless you've unearthed the ugliest corners of yourself. Yeah. So, I, I, yeah. I so feel, in a way, yeah. this, the conjunction hmm. is bringing that to the forefront, right? It's like it might be the last ditch effort mm -hmm. for a long time, but it's going to be there for a little bit, right? Because mm -hmm. it's not even. I don't think it's gonna until next year until the end of the year okay so until the end of the year <laughs> i don't get any reprieve from it neither does anybody else well because it's interesting because i a few months ago i looked at my inner leper like if you're really wanting to look especially when it comes to health like if you want to if you want to like kind of look at your health demons let's just say that like go look at your inner leper, like the diseased, sickly part of yourself that has parts of its body falling off, rotting and falling off. Go look at that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because that's some crazy shit, right? Yeah. And that, you know, to face that part of yourself, like with compassion, not, not disgust, disgust or fear. It's, it's a lot of it is fear. Like this, everything I think is just a cover over for fear. Like, you know, you, yeah. So I found this meme on the, um, stoicism Facebook mm -hmm. group. Yeah. Okay. A man who fears suffering is already suffering from his fears. Yeah, I saw that one. Yeah. Was it was that Euripides? I don't remember. I can't remember. I, didn't, I, didn't, I, I just like the Euripides Euripides, Euripidos. Oh, every time I see a quote by him, I just laugh. That's great. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's my who's on first humor. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I really... Um, you know, the other part of like everything that's going on, like not just the new moon, everything that's kind of coming, like look, we're heading into um 
I'm just going to call it like, um, it, like erupting fears, you know, based on um, election, pre-election, whoever political candidate stuff is, is really going to be popping up. I know it's like, we're, I, once you like see it, it, you, you get so it's like vomitous. It's like, look, it is it's vomitous. It's, it's, it's like, if you get those people are so afraid to look at themselves that they will attach themselves to something as circus like as that it's yeah. like the bread circus Rome is falling, but nobody wants to look because right. they can't do the dirty business of actually assessing themselves. Well, they can. They're they're. But there's they're, me passing judgment on all of humanity. Right. Well, but 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 you know we know like with some part I know it's, it's part of it is like yeah the wound for me is that my God like you guys are whole you you're holding consciousness hostage in a place that is so fucked up for people and there's no growth there's no growth it's it's madness it's actual madness so but the other part like what i would say i was like i have compassion because i there are some people who have no capacity for self reflection so it's not that some of them don't want to do the work they don't know how they don't even have a map they don't have a way they and, and Who the they hell has a map but but they might not even be able to. If you gave them a map, they wouldn't be able to do it. There are there are people that even if you give them a map, multiple maps, right? Of of self reflection, they can't do it. I killed them. Good, good, very good. One less one less genetically modified. One one, one less blood sucker. <laughs> one less blood sucker. Um. So. Uh, so they're gen so they're actually NPCs. Like they are the real Yeah. NPCs. They're they're like they have I mean, I don't want to cement them into there because I feel like, well, yeah, like maybe you can. Maybe you can move from that status. Maybe that's why there's that possibility. And maybe these game game controllers know that that is a possibility. You know, so they kind of they do their best to hit those people everybody hard to whatever degree they need to hit them they're not game controllers they're chaos musicians yeah magicians. well i call them game controllers because the the truth is i don't think they're magicians i think we are we they're 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 not they have they need to use us who are the magicians they can't do it they need mm. they can't they know how to create chaos. They know how to manipulate the psyche and the emotions, but they cannot create it without us. They can't do it. They just know yeah. how to create the story that does it. So I kind of even look at them like I level them down because um, that's why I also think that like a lot of ritualized stuff, ritualized magic is also kind of mechanical. Mm -hmm. uh it's very mechanical it's very mechanical it's very it doesn't make sense to me and there's a lot of people that do it like with spells and all this stuff and i kind of look at it like that's not even necessary um if you do the inner work none of that is necessary right you see what i mean so they're, they're even i know that you know that they're even sucking people in like who are yeah, they're, they're just sucking people, witchy people in, you know, they're sucking all these people into these um, hardened mechanical processes that really don't really do anything. Um, and I think they're leaving out the details of how to do anything truthfully. It'd be very difficult to find. Mm. Uh, yeah. But that's why I think that's the whole thing. It's the inner work. And I think that's what everything, it's like kind of like learning Reiki without doing inner, inner work. It, it might help mm -hmm. to a degree, but you're leaving yourself open to infiltration because you're not doing the inner work. You have no way of sensing what you're doing. And on the other side of it, I say, well, maybe, you know, this blissfully ignorant state can be the best healer because they don't think about anything, right? So I have all these different kind of like, you know, like 
I don't want to cement myself, you understand? And I don't mm -hmm. want to cement anyone else because that's part of the game to over-identify, to solidify consciousness to such a state that it can never be alchemized. The war is real. Yeah. So that's the that's how I have to kind of play the game of like looking at something and saying, let me look at it from the complete opposite perspective. Let me look at it from here. Let me see, where's the benefit of the thing that I'm saying has the least benefit? Because it's got to be a benefit because we're in duality. So the Mercury games, <laughs> like to me, that's the Mercury games I play. Like, let me look around here. Yeah. Let me, you know, Please. let's, that's it. Like, let me, Mercury, Hermes, Quicksilver. So there's a lot. Okay, well, I think we, we just summed all that up. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically our hour almost. Yeah, it's almost our hour. So, I mean, I I put the ad highlight, but I didn't see any comments. Like, people might be out and about doing shit. Oh, I should just go on here. Um. So like I said, I haven't seen anyone asking questions or comments. And you can always come back under this live later on and ask a question if you want. And we will answer it. Ask questions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my internet connection. But unstable. we didn't really give a lot of notice either. We didn't what? Didn't make a lot of uh, notice. I... I I made a comment two hours before we went on that we were going to go, but yeah, I, mean, I did. I did yesterday, but I think next time what I'm going to do is like I did with, I don't know why I didn't think about it. Like what I did with Rob is I emailed my list. So next time I'll email. Oh, I'll just, that's why you had so many questions. Yeah. Yeah. So I, e so that's what happened. So people actually got on the webinar part. Um, as attendees and asked questions through that so i'll do that next time uh and okay then, that so sounds like way more. yeah 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 i i was like oh i don't know i just what it, <clears throat> i didn't have time to put together once i realized i should do that i didn't have time to put together an email and i do want to give a shout out to julie hedges because she, she created a graphic for us. I have to send it to you. I forgot. That's really cool. It's really cool. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She created a pirate's graphic. Yeah. Oh, yay. Fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. She, that was really sweet of her. So just want to give her a shout out. She, she's a fellow astrologer. And um, she usually has some great questions and comments. And we really appreciate her. And Jana Jones, too. Must be the Jays. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's it. I think we're good to go. So unless anybody has anything, like, come on, you know, well, you know, you can always just tag Whitney as Rogue Jedi if you have like a, you know, like more astrologically related questions. If you have more kind of energy, energy management related questions, you can ask me. So, all right. All right. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys uh, on the full moon, on the flippity flop. Two weeks. Yeah. Here we go. I stopped the live stream.